Thank you for staying with us. Recently, the University of Lagos held its 54th convocation ceremony, and Okpara Paul Oji is one of the several individuals who went through the master's degree program at the institution. But he distinguished himself by merging the best graduating master's student with a perfect CGPA of 5.0. It's the 54th convocation ceremony of the University of Lagos, Unilag. One of the activities commemorating the ceremony was the convocation lecture titled Decolonizing African Higher Education for Transformational Development. The Vice Chancellor of the institution explained the rationale behind the theme of the discussion. In academia, we develop thinkers. And if Nigeria is to reach its full potential, we as a nation must start thinking right. Who do we think we are? What do we say we are? It is our belief in who we think that we are that will determine the choices that we make. And the choices that we'll, we make will guide our actions. And the collective actions will be what Nigeria will be. During the lecture, a professor of history, Toi Falola, insisted that the standard of education in Nigeria is not diminishing, hence the reason for brain drain, especially in the healthcare sector. How come your citizens are doing well all over the world, but you are projecting a negative narrative at home that we must correct? We created leadership in the Stone Age. We created leadership in the Metal Age. We created leadership in an agrarian age. We don't give ourselves the credit. In the forthcoming book, African Contributions of the World, chapter by chapter, I map out what your ancestors and my ancestors have contributed to the world. It was concluded at the convocation lecture that to decolonize higher learning in Africa, the language that should be used to be taught in school should be that of our indigenous language. It was also emphasized during the lecture that it's of utmost importance for the school curriculum to reflect African culture. Sharon Jason, TVC News. Well, joining us now to tell us how he was able to achieve this feat is the best graduating master student from Unilag, Oji Opara Paul. Congratulations and thank you for joining us. Thank you so very much. It's good to be a winner. We can see the plaque there uh, with the name School of Postgraduate Studies, University of Lagos. I have to hold it carefully now. Yes. Award of Academic Distinction presented to Oji Opara Paul for graduating with perfect CGPA of 5.0, Masters of Arts in Philosophy. How did you do it? Well, determination is very important to succeed in life. Mm. When you are determined to succeed, you do everything, you take extra step. First of all, I was determined to succeed and I registered for this master's program at, that, that was November 2022, uh -huh. you know. The other set that I joined had already started this program by AA Gap. So when I picked the form, after the clearance, the department asked us to join them if we could do Catch it. Says, yes. Mm. So I just joined, you know, in Nigeria, master's program sometimes can be punctuated by incessant strikes. Absolutely. That's actually what really happened. Mm. And I prepared, I registered with some international academic communities right. that will help me to read, take notes and research. In fact, Google was my best friend. Mm. I always asked Google some questions, took some notes, and I prepared myself very well. So. When I come to class, I listen to lectures, I ask questions because without asking important questions and listening as the answers are being provided, 
you would not get extra information. Emphasis on important questions. Yeah. Yes, I always asked questions. Even when some other classmate of mine thought the questions were disturbing, you know, taking the time I pressed further, I never backed Damn, away. Yeah. I kept asking questions. And in fact, Google would be, would be, would record my name with a, a, a one who always asks questions. <laughs> and I took record of whatever answers I got and I read. Then, when each time we come for exam, <clears throat> I made sure I came very early. Mm. Sometimes, if it, it means trekking, I trekked. If it really? means, yes, I did. To just make sure I don't miss classes, to make sure I prepare well, well enough before the examination. When they say, pick your question, I listen to the, I write the questions, take time to ponder over the questions before I set my pen to write. Wow. And not just that, I made sure I responded to questions adequately well. Right. You know, and each question that was asked, like three questions for a whole, a whole paper, I made extra pages of eight, mm. extra pages of eight. Mm. So I actually wrote 22 pages, <laughs> 21 pages per exam. And that's what brought about the result. Your classmates must have wondered, who is he? What is he writing? <laughs> Masters in philosophy. Yeah, right. masters in okay. philosophy. There's a lot to I, I right. studied philosophy at right. the prestigious University of Ibadan. So, well, uh, <laughs> that's, <the> <laughs> that's very wonderful. Yeah, but how You're you, welcome, Michael. How do you cope with all of this? I mean, what do you do? What were you doing before um, getting in for the master's program? And how did you marry master's and whatever you're doing, work and all of that? Okay. First, I've already taken time to study. What actually made this possible was during my undergraduate years, there was one particular lecturer that everyone wouldn't want to pick his course. His name is Dr. Anthony Okarebe in my department. Same uni lag? Yes, the same uni lag. Who has that the lecturer of, is lecturer. very, I guess very, viewers will tell him that yes. you mentioned uh -huh. his name. <laughs> <laughs> he's very tough, he's very dedicated, he's very detailed. I kept picking his course. Even when I scored C, he would say, Paul, don't worry, keep doing. I pick again, I scored B until I started scoring A. He now said, anywhere you go, you can write. Mm. So I've always been researching. Sometimes I research for the EFCC on contract basis, mm. Lagos State Zonal. Mm. I'll say I'm a good chef. I cook. Really? Yes. I cook. I was almost meals. saying your, your cap looks like that of a chef. But yes. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> I cook, I research. But I wake up every day, 3 o'clock a.m. Hmm. 3 o'clock, I'm awake. So I read for two hours, and that should be 5 o'clock. I now pause and prepare for classes. When I come back, I, I also go to my restaurant, you know, make sure I do something. I research, I cook. In fact, so many other activities. That other so you were able to schedule your time in such yes. a way that it doesn't hinder um, your time for studies yes. or your time for research as it is. I am also wondering how you were able to concentrate, to stay focused. There are so many things. A lot of things. Distracting, distracting people. Of course. I there know. are so many. You talk about the economy situation around. You may just be focused, but one thing or the other just passes That's through. Yeah. And then you, you're talking about being on Google for such a long time, and then perhaps you were not using your phone or you were using system. One thing or the other could just spring up. Yes. And then the you, you, you were just determined. How did you do that? that you, you stayed focused to the very end? Okay. First, I, I don't believe that education is a scam. I'm convinced okay. that education is not a scam. When you believe that education is a scam, that it has scammed you, the very first question is, did you begin with education that it was going to give you this and that, <laughs> and so you know it was no longer giving you, and at that point you were scammed? Mm. When people come to school with such mentality that education is a scam, they, they will not concentrate. Right. So I know I will be at the very best. When I watch any program, when I, I listen to music, 
when I watch any football, you know, I, 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 I clap for them. But I always say one day people must clap for me. Mm. So that is the dedication. And, that is what and I know like. I cannot be this and that. So I just focused on education and give in my very best. Mm. Not just that. I'm also good at singing. Oh. You understand? Yes, I sing at the choir. Your I'm voice a chorister. Sounds in, yeah, your yes, voice. I'm a chorister. A board of lecture, a commissioned board of lecture at the Adidas of Lagos. Mm. So I do all of those things. Every mundane activities that people do, I take part in them. Really? Yes. Because people feel that people like you that are called bookworm, yes. don't, don't, have, a don't have a social life, don't no. do these mundane yeah. things that no. we are getting. In fact, in my undergraduate years, I was so influential that I won the most influential male student. Uh -huh. The most diligent student. Uh -huh. You? The most, yes, the most outstanding Catholic student. Mm. But in my department, they didn't give me that most influential mail. Because they say I would actually be bagging all the awards. <laughs> so they have to drop <laughs> They have to one. give someone else. I went for their socials. Every aspect of the activity, I participated actively. Mm. Because wow. I know that, you know, this world, you just have to make a mark. Mm. You have to make a mark. Hello? Right. We influence people. And when such is your motivation internally generated, of course, you will excel. Mm. Now, this is a huge motivation yes. for not just you, but uh, for some of our viewers who are young persons and watching. And from all you have said, there's so much that uh, they can glean from there to know that determination, focus, knowing that education did not, you have to have a bargain with education to know if it wants to scam you or not, not. as it is to get this kind of award. Let's hear, what are you hearing from persons who are perhaps support systems, so to speak, with regards to this award? Okay. Now, this award that has been given to me is not just for me alone, it represents a lot about my community. My community is a very rich, vibrant community called Apoha, situated on a rocky hill in a bunny state, Afibo, not precisely. Mm -hmm. So the community is very happy with this. There was one humanitarian, a man of God with a golden heart, mm -hmm. Pastor Dr. Kelechi Obote. He has a foundation that sponsors young and talented people. Right. Immediately he heard of this remarkable achievement. He partnered with me. He mm. said, I would not let this gift waste away. It would be an inspiration for young people to be motivated. Absolutely. And he said, oh, I'm going to sponsor your doctorate program. Oh, and great. And he's in for that. Wow. So we have also been making steps to let the Ebony State government hear about it so yeah. that at least if a governor recognizes it and other top government officials, it's going to be a very great incentive for young people to take education very seriously. seriously. Yes. So right. do you now, plan, okay, continue. Okay. Now, for, for, for the world to, you know, so many people are saying, oh, the University of Lagos should have retained you. The University of Lagos should have given you this and that. I told them the University of Lagos is not a monetary organization. This award alone is all I need from the University of Lagos. Mm. Of course, I know that when they retain the very best, it boosts the image of the school, both nationwide and globally. But I understand that with, with time, they will also come to terms with retaining the very best mm. in their institution. And I know... Do you love to be retained? By... Of course, I would love to be retained mm. because that would be the best way to channel this knowledge to the younger generation right. and make sure it continues. In a situation where we are having a, a lot of young persons like you leave the country, Jakba yeah. and all of that, do you have that intention? Well. Or ambition? Well, I would love to study abroad. Mm. The reason is very simple. That is a very competitive environment and conducive one for that matter. It gives you the time, the resources, the support, you know, the synergy you need to study and be one with the academic world. 
And again, it also gives you that opportunity to take the African culture, the African soil, the African temperament, the African resources to the overall world, but not the Japa mentality. You know, well, let me go. I, I don't know. The difference is there. Will you return after you've gone to study? I will return, of course. I will return. After seeing, because after seeing the difference. Yes. I will so return. So if they give you any offer, you wouldn't take it because you are interested in returning to the country. Yes. When the government of Nigeria, Federal Republic of Nigeria, and of course my state, promises to offer me something to work here, I don't mind, I don't mind the, the reward. I don't mind how little it is. Because I believe when the best brains... What, what, what Africans are suffering now is brain drain. Mm -hmm. That the best of the brains in Africa are, are living. now living and working overseas, leaving us drier and drier, poorer and poorer in natural and human resources. Mm. So I wouldn't want such brain, you know, to evaporate from Africa. Absolutely. And so we would, we would want to come back and give to our soil what it has given us. Mm. Okay, so over the years, there's been, like you mentioned, people will say education is a scam. Mm -hmm. That slogan has reverberated amongst Nigerian youths over the years and is still um, in their minds that what will be your own message to young people who believe that education is a scam? Like I said, one would be convinced of being scammed if there were an agreement in the first place. For example, I'm scammed of some dollars. If I was told, oh, bring these dollars, let us do a business. And at the end, it was no longer yielding the fruit. Education in the first place has never said, when you study me, I'm going to make you be the controller of this CTV <laughs> news. You know, fam? It has never said, when you study me, I'm going to... What education does is that it enlightens the eyes of your mind, mm. prepares your heart, your compassion prepares your emotions, prepares your intelligence to succeed in the world. That is John Dewey. Mm. What education offers is the opportunity to have an intercourse with the totality of human activities mm -hmm. and be the very best. Right. If education has stopped doing that, then it would be a scam. Mm. So young people that say education is a scam, I feel they are misguided. I feel they don't even understand the meaning of scam. Education it's not a scam and can never be a scam. And I would tell them to dissuade from such mental aid because it will hinder that spirit of competitiveness. Ever since young people have been complaining that education is a scam, have they gotten better? Mm. No. That's a big question. Right. They've gotten better, so I don't uh, think and it, education obviously didn't scam you. That's yes. why you were able to get this. Yes. Uh, congratulations once again, Oji Okpara for this award of academic distinction and we can only wish you the very best. What are your plans now moving forward quickly? Okay. First, before I say my plans, I wouldn't forget to mention people. Yeah, running out of time. All right, people that made this our possible. You know, in my class, it has been a vibrant one. We have one with us, I.K. Obienu, mm. the philosopher of application. Right, we, we know him for that. <laughs> we have none. Anyway. So, you know, what I want to do with this is that I want to venture into two fields, Quickly. philosophy of artificial intelligence mm. and, and then African culture. African culture, when I mean uh, African culture, I mean production, productivity, solid state philosophy, all right. selling our culture RG, to the world. Parapol, best yeah. graduating master's yes. student so, from the University of Lagos. Thank you for your time. Our that time has been good. a very wonderful moment. Thank you. Thank you Thank for much. this. You're welcome. Moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. All, All right. right. We move on now to bring you some.